Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I am opening a box of jewelry from Arizona, and I paid $52 for this, and with shipping, it came out to $80. I'm very excited. It's been like a week since I did any opening. Um, I am trying to do more listing than opening and buying, which is hard. <laughs> um, and I had a lot of fun this weekend because I helped with my first auction, which was so much fun for Hudson Vintage, who I adore. I've talked about her here before. She's amazing. And that was really fun. She's got another auction coming up on February 14th, which I will be helping her with. And she's fantastic. I highly encourage you to subscribe to her channel. She's one of the most knowledgeable of all of us in this space and is trained um, for many years. So anyway, um, February 14th, and you can subscribe to her channel to get more information on that. So this is um, a huge one, and I will, um, I will, I think, do probably maybe <laughs> a third of this today. So... Let's see what we find. I hope everyone's been doing well. Um, if you are enjoying this channel, please do subscribe. It's appreciated. And also give a thumbs up if you like the content. And let's go. This is costume faux druzy bracelet. Very comfortable actually. And adjustable. So that's nice. And I'm feeling in good spirits lately. I had a little tough time a few weeks ago, but things are back and open in California, which really helps me just to like be able to sit outside and have dinner with my husband once a week. We don't do it too often because we're still trying to be super safe, but uh, just to get out a little bit and take a, a time out is awesome. Anyway, this is fabric wrapped beads and very, very, very worn here. So that's going in the craft lot. I'm sure someone will have some fun with that. By the way, I bought these. I love these earrings from Lydia, who I spoke about last time. She's amazing. They're so pretty. And, um, and then this is actually from Hudson Vintage. It's my own collection now, but I purchased that from her. So, and that's all I'm wearing today. This is going in the craft lot. And it is um, just a homemade bracelet there. This I probably um, saw in the ad um, for this lot. And I absolutely love this kind of stuff. It's not, um, it's not marked at all. But it looks like a Whiting Davis. And it's a necklace. And it's really cool. I have another bracelet that I think is Whiting Davis, but this is a necklace and it desperately needs to be cleaned, which I will do. And I don't think that's going to be for sale. I think I'm going to keep that because I've been looking for something like that. All right. Um, this is a wood beaded memory bracelet. And I don't know if these sell. I will think about selling that. I think some people actually really like wood beads. And that, that is kind of pretty, but I'll put that on the side. <clears throat> this is a clamp bracelet, not in great condition, so that's going to go in the craft lot. Here is a torque necklace in brass. This is very, very cool. There's a piece of hair on it, and it's not mine, I'm sure. So you can see that. That's pretty neat. Very cool, very Cleopatra. And I would say this would probably go really nicely with it. Brass and wood bangle. Great pieces. I hope this is going to be a lucky batch because the last time I bought something from them, it was great. Um, and it had a lot of Southwestern things. And we'll see. This is a little fashion ring. And it's uh, not, 
attracted to the magnet. I want to get a better magnet, I think. This is so small, and I have pretty small fingers. I can't even get that on my pinky. So that might have to go to the kids lot, but I will see if that's gold or silver first. And we've got a, an earring. The stones are missing here. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. So it's going in the craft lot. Thanks for all your support, guys. I've been getting so many notes from you and um, and encouragement, and it's all really, really appreciated because um, it's just nice to to know someone's listening to you and watching and appreciating what you have to say. This is just going to go in the craft lot. We've got a cord bracelet with some charms on here. It's pretty worn. It's cute though. Love, hearts, all that. Um, so yeah, I'll put that in the craft lot too. A lot for the crafter already. I hope that's not a sign. Um, let's see what this is. This looks like a really cute earring with these tassels on it. That's pretty. Put that aside. Love anything in black. I am a New Yorker after all. And here is a, what looks like a choker necklace. This looks very Stella and Dot. I actually have something similar in Stella and Dot, but it's not, this isn't marked at all. Let me know if you're interested in any of these pieces. And my email's up on this, um, on the YouTube site, and it should be in the About section. But... If you are interested at all in anything I take out, please feel free to write to me. This is very worn on these beads. I'm going to put it in the craft lot. Some of these beads are really, really nice, though. So someone will have fun with them. Most of them are wood. And what's this? This looks artisan made. Um, very pretty pretty big too um, and that's cute though I like that it's a little big for me but I might sell it and here is an earring a lot of worn stuff in here it's very worn out craft lot interesting ring definitely costume says something in it. It says 2010. Looks like a date. I don't know why. Um, but that's that's fun for somebody. It's got roses in the middle. Very Valentine's-y. Oh, what's everyone getting for Valentine's Day? Usually what my husband and I do for holidays, which is fine by me, is we'll ask each other what the budget is. And then... We will tell one another what we want and shop for it. <laughs> and it makes it really, really nice because we um, always get what we want. And like I've told you guys, usually I ask for jewelry, but I, do I need any more jewelry? No, I do not. This is a beautiful stone. I think this is a Venturine. Um, it is a very, very deep green color. Gorgeous stone. Super heavy and cold. Gorgeous. Love that. I love any real stone. This is a huge bracelet. Heavy. I shouldn't say huge. Heavy. This says uh, Kirk. And it's pewter. And it's very moldable. Um... Pewter is pretty soft, isn't it? That's very pretty. I like that. And that needs to be molded just a little bit. But I like that a lot. Very floral and pretty. Okay, this is an armband that has seen better days. That's going to go in the crafter. Wood stretch bracelet with not much stretch left. Crafter. And this is super worn out, and it's, um, it's plastic, actually. It looks like metal, but it's not. The 
This looks interesting, guys. Um, it is, is this broken? Darn it. This looks like a weird lock. Um, this is a torque necklace. I don't, I don't know how this works. It looks like the lock is broken. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll pull this pendant off of it and I'll put the torque in the craft lot. Let me see what this says in here, but it does say something. I want to say, yeah, that's Ralph Lauren. So we'll do the pendant separately. Nice beads here, a little worn craft lot. All right, I've got to reach in with some strategy to find something good here. There's a painted shell broken and I'm gonna try and reach in for some good stuff. What is this? This looks vintage and it's marked and I'm gonna love this piece, I already know. Um, Sarah Coventry, very pretty necklace, very pretty vintage necklace. Really nice scale on that. Love it. That's gonna go on my Etsy page for sure. Here is a little beaded bracelet. This is probably Sterling Findings, I think. And yeah, I think it is. Let me just see real quick. I kind of want to do an auction too. I always say this and I'm a little scared to do it, but that's pretty, glass beads. I'll have to test it, but I'm pretty sure that's silver too. I'm scared to do it, but I, I don't know why, because I'm very comfortable on the camera. <laughs> Probably too comfortable. Um, that looks like plastic beads to me. Um, I'm very comfortable on camera, but I don't know, I've never done it before, a little angel pin. So we'll see, oh, I'm still thinking about it. See what this necklace is. I hope I get some silver in this because silver, guys, this is also very worn. See the links? Very, very worn. Um, silver prices have been shooting up. So, those of you who sell jewelry um, and sell your silver, I'm sure you're keeping an eye on it as I am. Um, it went up to $30 an ounce yesterday and that's really great news because if you sell silver and I do get a bunch of bulk silver in these lots um, then you might want to you know keep an eye on it to sell it this is a beautiful beautiful belt very nice none of the stones are missing either I do not see a maker's mark the tag is still on it and that's really beautiful. So yeah, keep an eye on silver, guys, because you can make some money. This is costume, faux diamond ring. My mom, before I met anybody serious, used to always get me, I don't know why, I have to ask her why she did this. She, I guess because she always knew I wanted to get married, but she always used to get me um, faux engagement rings which was kind of funny. What is this? Is this that? Or is it some kind of headpiece? Ooh, okay. That's so Cleopatra, that's gonna kill my head though. Um, I do not know what this is, but that is neat. It's all different coins. Very cool. I will have to figure that out later. Um, yeah, she used to give me all these like engagement rings. And um, maybe she didn't want me to feel left out. She was very cute. I spoke to her last week um, and she said she's so flattered. She said, I didn't realize, I didn't realize how much you talk about me on your channel. And, um, and I do, I talk about her quite a bit. Um, these are plastic beads. They're quite pretty in my favorite color of purple. They're tangled, they need to be untangled, but that's very nice. Oh, this must be what that other um, 
shell was from. And that's too bad because that would have been beautiful and they're broken. Well, crap lot. Some exotic things in here, like that headpiece. What is that? It's so crazy. Um, okay, interesting. Interesting. What's this? Oh, I love this. This matches a necklace I almost wore today. Um, look at that. That's so pretty. That's like an abalone shell. I want to say that's probably on sterling, but let's see. Yep. I'll look at that later, but that looks like it's on sterling. Very, very pretty. I hope we have a match. And this is a Cocopelli style. I don't know what this is. It looks like a necklace. This is caught on here. Um, oops, there goes the beads. Um, oh, crap. So that's some kind of tribal thing. I don't know what this is made out of. It's like, I think it's almost like a glass or ceramic. Interesting piece, pretty big. So if you're into that kind of jewelry, that's pretty neat. Oh, I have earrings just like this. Um, these are pretty awesome. Look at those. Gorgeous. And very pretty green. Look at that. I love a big earring. And these are very worn. These were marked $2, and look how badly worn they are. I'm gonna toss that in the crap lot. Beaded necklace in a very, very bubblegum, well, it's not even bubblegum, it's probably, it's hot pink. So, a little worn on here. I don't know, haven't decided on that yet. Put it over there. Not sure, that might be a crafter. These are pretty beads, um, metallic clothes, very beautiful beads on those. Is this glass? No, those are acrylic. And this is a um, bracelet, it's on like a memory wire. This is also very worn, a lot of worn stuff in this one, oh well. Well, we'll get a mix. We always get a mix. How pretty is this? That's nice. Very nice ring. Um, it's, I believe, gold tone. Let's see if there's any markings. And I don't see any. But that sure is pretty. Like that. And wow, this is a great stone. And it's got a maker's mark. Oh, no, this is love. But that feels like a genuine stone or crystal. Very pretty. Someone put a, um, I don't think this belongs together. Someone put a lock on it. So that needs to be like restrung, but that's beautiful. And that's a natural stone. Okay, we have a stretch bracelet that's breaking which is too bad, that would have been nice. In its day, back in its day. And a wood bracelet, very worn, craft lot. Okay. Um, okay, these are genuine pearls and they're stuck in here. Yeah, it looks like they're glued. That's so weird. Oh, now I know what it is. Okay, so this is the actual necklace. Like, this is the pendant because it's glued in there. It's also stuck. I have to wait for that. I'll, I'll get back to that, guys. Okay. Um, very worn out gold metal costume bracelet. Craft lot. This is a stretch. This is pretty. This has some stretch left to it for sure. Put that to sell in the sell pile. Oh, I have no idea what this is. This is going directly into the craft lot. Very heavy. Maybe this was a belt. Very heavy and worn craft lot. 
Okay. Stretch bracelet. Um, these are acrylic beads. They look very nice though. Very natural looking. So, and here we have a very pretty, let's see, elephant necklace in gold tone. And it is not vintage. I thought it might be. It is not. Um, the chain is a bit worn. I really like the pendant though. So I may put that on another chain. He's cute. I do like him. And this looks like coral to me. So let's open this little baggie. Um, okay. Guys, if you're interested in any of this, as a reminder, I sell on two sites primarily. One is on Etsy where I do my vintage pieces and Poshmark is the other and um, and that's where I sell my more modern pieces. This is from Express actually. Very good condition on this. This is plastic. So there's that. Yeah and um, I love selling actually because people really um, enjoy some of these pieces and it's nice to just you know market them and this is broken uh, market them and you know share it out on my sites and you know I often get people writing to me when they get it on how much they love it so that's always super fun and you know I sold retail when I was younger I worked in the mall as many of the Jersey girls did back in the day. That's pretty. It's just felt, just cute costume. Um, this is pretty worn, but that's, those are like, I think, wood panels. Yeah, I worked in a store called Pinstripe Petites, and, um, and that was fun, selling a lot of Jones, New York type suits. That's worn out too, crap lot. Um, and where else did I work? Hit or Miss. Do you guys remember Hit or Miss? That was another great retail store. The problem when you work retail, and um, my stepdaughter is working at Michael Kors now, the problem, <laughs> the problem is you wind up spending so much money on your clothes. That's going to be for a kid's lot. It's very small, little elephant necklace put that in the kids lot and I do have two kids lots going right now I can certainly make a kids lot for anyone who's interested but I also have some kids in my life so I'm always gifting to them as I've spoken about this is broken that was very cool though this piece someone will craft with that I'm sure and have a great time with it um, this is a stretch with dyed howlite Needs some cleaning, but it's got some nice stretch left, so I'll sell that. Yeah, I love um, I love sending to the kids in my life. That makes me so happy. This definitely needs a cleaning. These are acrylic, but they look like genuine stones. I may try and clean that a bit. So there's that. And here's another. This is like actually rubber, so I'm going to toss out the crap lot. I'm not going to sell that one. Um, beautiful amethyst stretch. Pretty stones. And um, I used to have a bracelet like this. It's kind of peacock feather on brass. Um, yeah, there's nothing like seeing a kid's reaction to something like a big pile of jewelry. <laughs> oh. These are pretty stones, but everything on the chain is like really worn down. I don't know if this maybe can, well, you know what? I might take this off and string it from something else because that's pretty. Those are some nice stones. That's what I will do. Hold on to that. Yeah, they're so appreciative, the kids. My friends daughter Dakota did a video the other day and she was wearing the pearls I gave her and I just loved it. This is New York Studio 
Um, and it is, gosh, this would have been so cool. It's definitely weathered. I'm putting it in the craft lot. But that would have been really awesome. Wood beads and on metal. Um, this is a stretch bracelet. This is plastic. That's going to go in the crafter too. Yeah, there's nothing like seeing a kid's reaction to stuff. And this looks, um, this looks like genuine stone. I don't know what stone that would be though. Maybe it's ceramic. Um, hold on. No, that's genuine stone. I don't think that's turquoise. There's just a lot of, I don't know, a lot of um, those veins. I think this is sterling. I'm going to have to test this. This looks to me like some sterling beads and genuine stones there. And it's from Arizona, which is usually a sign you get a lot of genuine stones in the Arizona lots. I think it's probably super popular there. Dyed halite stretch. So, and that's why I like the lots from Arizona because they do have a lot of the genuine stones. Um, that's cool. This says something like pow packs or something like that. I don't know what that is. That's not a pendant. It's not a pin. It's heavy too. I'm going to have to Google that. I don't know what that is other than an eagle. <laughs> Um, yeah, they always have some genuine stone. Speaking of which, this is going to also be a genuine stone. And it's on a crappy chain. So, um, see, this is where all those chains that I have come in handy because I, I'm going to need to use them on some of these pendants because the chains that they're coming on are completely worn out. This one's caught on something. Um, ah, all right, I got to come back to that. Never mind. All right, this looks awesome. This is Chico's, and this is suede and genuine pearl. So, and this can wrap multiple times. Oh, just, that's nice. Very nice. And um, I think I saw... I think I saw, did we open this already? Did I see a bracelet? I think there's a bracelet. I feel like I put my hands on it earlier, but I don't think I ever took it out. So we'll look for that. Here it is. Okay, so this is a set. That's cool. Yeah, it's tangled on something, which is why I probably didn't take it out. Um, so that's a necklace and bracelet set. That probably sold the Chico's for like $80. So we probably got our money back already. I love this bracelet. This is the hand of God. I think they call it a Hamsa bracelet. And it's very rare that I love a memory wire, but I do like them when they're unique and interesting and that's beautiful. So, and this is going in the crafter because that's worn out. Um, I do not know what this is. This feels like maybe a lava stone or something with seed beads, little lizard guy, and that's wood. That's going in the crafter. Here's another hand of God with the evil eye on it. Um, I don't know if that's sterling, could be. That'd be really nice. Really, really, really nice if it was. Um, I don't think it is, but that's a cute pendant. Nice size. Very pretty. See, you guys, like a lot of kind of tribal looking things in here. This feels like a stretch. It's shell. Um, and another. It's very Panama Jack. Um, this has an arrowhead on the end of it, which I think makes it more valuable. So that's probably sellable. That's artisan made. And we've got, huh, this bracelet. So 
some of this stuff that comes out that's super heavy. I just really want to be silver, <laughs> but I don't think that is. That looks like stainless steel or something. And I don't know if that's a genuine stone, but we'll test it. We'll see. A lot of testing going on. I've learned to be much more careful with those acids. Here's the other earring. Doesn't look like there's a lot of um, small pieces like earrings or you know other things in here, but I just did find this other one, which I loved. Very pretty. And this I think went with the necklace I pulled out before. It looks like genuine stone, but these are acrylic. Oh, that's pretty. These are genuine stones, beautiful. That's a beauty. And it's wrapped in leather and like an animal skin leather. Wow, that's super pretty, guys. That's beautiful. Love that. That'll be hard for me to put up for sale since I love it, but I might. And this is a nice little costume piece, necklace in a rose gold and silver. Very pretty. Interesting. I kind of love that. Total costume, but look how neat that is. All seed beads. Beautiful, beautiful necklace. That's a conversation piece for sure. And here's a stretch. This has turquoise, shell, beautiful color combo here of orange and turquoise. I love that. A lot of stretch left in this guy. Um, hmm. Interesting. Plastic. I would say that's for the kids' lot. I'm gonna put that in the kids' lot. There. And this says Kelsey. Put that in the crafter. I do not know a Kelsey. And this is a little costume piece. It is marked with a maker's. It says 2028, which by the way is the same owner as um, 1928. It's their newer line. Although this does look like their older line. This is very Art Deco ish. Um, okay. This looks like a combo of keychain, very worn. And that's going to go in the crafter and some type of charm necklace. I have something very similar on Posh right now. Um, it has a maker's mark. This one's very worn out though. Mine is in great condition. This says N. Um, so I'm gonna put that in the craft lot because that's not in great shape. Okay, very pretty earring. This looks like Kendra Scott. It's not marked but that's her style for sure. Let's see if we find the other. This is, I guess, mostly necklaces and bracelets here, right? Uh, this is pretty worn out, plastic beads, craft lot. Bangle, most of these are fake. I have found real ones in here. This one's not. I put these in the craft lot. I do keep the real ones, obviously, and I have quite a few of those that have turned up in these lots. So always check with the magnet because a lot of them look fake and they're not. And those are often very heavy. This is Chico's. Um, this is on leather. This is very worn. I normally hate throwing out Chico's, but this is going to have to go into the craft lot. It is way too worn. What else? What else do we have? Okay, this looks like it was a pendant to something. I'm gonna put that in the crafter. And 
what is this interesting thing? A lot of tangles in this, guys, bear with me. This is definitely something I need to be gentle with. So, hope you guys are all doing well. I feel like, you know, this has been such a hard time, but I do feel like we're coming out the other end. I have several family members who've had the vaccine. I'm hoping to have the vaccine soon. Um, I've got some pre-existing, as you guys know, but I'm 50 and so, you know, it's not my turn yet, but I am hoping to get mine soon. Um, this looks very, uh, Bakelite to me, which if you are testing Bakelite, kind of rub your finger on it. It's so gross, but you smell it. Hmm, I don't know. And it looks like there's a necklace here. And the necklace is a modern one. So this is not Bakelite for sure. That's that's very similar to what Bakelite looks like though. Um, I might try and clean this. This is in good condition here and the lock is kind of in crappy condition, but this is a pretty awesome necklace, so I'm going to try and clean that and see what I can do. Matching earrings on that. Um, this is kind of a shell earring. Not in great shape. Craft lot. Stretchy, not in great shape. Craft lot. Aw, love. Valentine's. Um... Let's see, is this broken? Nope. So, um, let's see. Okay, lots of tangles. We'll get to that after. Here's another peacock bangle. Those are a little worn. I don't know how I feel about that. I may, I may put those in the craft lot. And this is Chaps. I've seen Chaps jewelry a few times. They actually have some really nice pieces. And that's one of them. Very nice pendant necklace. Southwest Vibes. Um, here's a stretchy. Interesting one. It's like checkerboard. I don't know what this is made of. I think the beads are plastic here. And it's kind of breaking. So that's going to go in the craft lot. Nice beads, though. Someone will use that, I hope. Um, snakeskin bracelet breaking there. All right. I might save this, guys, the rest of it. Um, we're at 38 minutes. All right, I'll open a couple more. Wood, very worn. Oh, I have to sneeze. Um, memory wire with seed beads. Okay, this is interesting. I don't know what this is, but it looks artisan made, like almost like clay. Interesting, let's see if we find the other. And this is brand new, let's see what this says. This says Beadology, and it says Cherish, and this is Argonite. Argonite is believed to strengthen the bond between cherished loved ones. Let's see how much this was. Does it say? Mm, no. I wonder what that was. I can look that up. So that's Argonite, guys. And I learn something new every day. That's just a little piece of wood. It was stuck to something. There's glue on the back. but um, Argonite. Okay. Not sure what this is. It's an earring. That looks very cool. And it had a maker's mark, I think, on the back, but does not now. So, I don't know, maybe the other one in here does. Um, this is weird. Here's an earring. And, oh, I see, that's Kenneth Cole. I think it had something here because there's like glue in there, so that'll go in the craft lot. 
Okay. All right. This is a very pretty pendant by Leah Sophia. Beautiful. Looks like an abalone shell or something. Did this actually, could this be labradorite? I don't know. I don't know if Leah Sophia did stuff like that, but I will look. Um, plastic worn earrings, gonna go in the craft lot. And here's a clip-on. I don't know what this is made of. I think this is also abalone shell. That's cute. These are new fashion earrings. A couple of these are broken. I'm gonna put that in the craft lot. Um, these are genuine stones. This is beautiful. It's cold. It's um. And I've got a lot of these in here. Gosh, see, this is where I, I wish I was crafting right now. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of these. Beautiful pink quartz. You know what? These are so pretty. Here's another stretch with these faux genuine stones. Um, I may hold on to these because my stepdaughter loves this stone. Maybe I can make her something with it. I'm going to put those aside. Um, or, you know, maybe I can send it to someone who does craft who can help me with it. Um, another artisan piece. This looks like it could be a bracelet or a necklace, right? Because you can button this and adjust it based on your neck or... And these are, these are very pretty, very pretty crystals and silver tone. Let me see if that's a crystal. Or, yeah, these are crystal. Nice. I like that. And we've got a stretch. This is about to lose its stretch. That's going to go and craft. I always get the sniffles when I open these. I don't know why. This is broken. That was an angel. It's kind of glued all over, glue is all over it. Um, this doesn't have much stretch left, but that's amethyst. Maybe it does. We'll see that piece. And so this is a hair tie, actually. I'm gonna put that in the crafter. What is this? Ooh, that is an earring, that's awesome. And here's the other one. This is all seed beans. Those are so cool. Very cool piece. Love those. Love those. There were some nice things in this bag. So what did I pay a total of 80 here? I'll make my money back, I think. What do you guys think? Although, like I've said on here, I'm, I'm really doing this for fun. This is not um, something where I'm putting pressure on myself to make the money back. This is strictly for my sanity. Not kidding. Um, these are beautiful. Really pretty. That wouldn't match me today. I hope we have the other one. So yeah, I've, I've talked about this before. I, I was struggling during COVID, as we all have been, and... I wanted something to just cheer me up, and that's what this is. And yes, I'm selling stuff, but I don't pressure myself to make a certain amount of sales, or you know, I just I just enjoy the process. I enjoy my customers' interaction with me, and I just try and keep things light and fun, and you know, just enjoy the jewelry. That would have been really pretty, but it's very worn out. So, craft lot. Um, kids lot. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think The rese for the resellers. I I've heard a, a lot of you say, like, you're reselling to kind of make up for the hoarding process that we all have, right? This matching necklace and bracelet shells. Um, 
I'm going to put that in the craft lot. I never sell those, and I have tons of it, like ridiculous amount of shell jewelry. Um, yeah, I hear a lot of you are kind of selling stuff to make up for all the buying that we do, which is significant. We all know. Um, and this is Lane Bryant, actually. It's a pretty necklace. And does this adjust? No, I was kind of hoping it would be a um, lariat that you could pull, but it's not. It's stationary. And interesting piece. This is artisan made, I'm sure. Very kind of cool. I don't know what this is. That's stone, I think. Pretty. Little swirl there. Craft lot. A little worn for the wear. Um, these are neat. Look how neat that is. These are wood. Awesome. Very, very cool. Yeah, some of this stuff, like, you, you kind of have to have a little bit of, you know, um, you have to be a little bit daring to wear some of this stuff because it's, you know, it's a little dated, but, but it's retro. You know, all this stuff comes back, and, like, I would totally rock those, you know, earrings and love it because they're really unique and that was always my thing with fashion stuff because I always wanted to I think this is a kid's necklace my I have a weird weird skinny neck it's bizarre um, but I think that's for kids because it's like little sparkles in there although I love that stuff I bought this from makeup zombie last week because I love anything with movable gems inside. This is a perfume bottle. I thought that was so cool. I'm a makeup zombie. Show us this interesting stuff. Um, this is a cameo. This is definitely costume cameo. Um, yeah, you have to. You have to kind of. I think try stuff out. You know, and not. Don't be afraid to not be exactly on point and what's trending. That's pretty, that's very Chanel, that um, motif. Yeah, you can't, you can't always feel like you've gotta be a slave to the trends because, you know, you've gotta wear, I think, this is just my opinion, but what I try and do is just wear what looks good. What, what looks good on me, you know, what colors look good on me, what styles look good on me personally, and what brings me joy and you know if if it's in fashion great if it's not that's okay too but I find that whenever I wear you know pieces like that like you know let's say the those wood earrings I guarantee if I wore that to a local restaurant how much do you want to bet that people would say oh my gosh that's so interesting because they're not gonna see it at Banana Republic or Zara, you know, it's like interesting. And that's why I think, you know, we like opening these jars too, because it's like, what, I'm untangling, by the way, um, what do people wear that, you know, we might want to wear again? Um, and that, you know, attracts attention and brings a smile to our faces. And, you know, I just think, don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. I don't know what happened to this necklace, but it broke on the end, which is a shame because this is genuine stone and shell. And I don't know what, but gosh, I wish I was handy because I'd like to fix that. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if it's sterling at all. I'm going to put that on the side because I think someone can fix this. It's really pretty. I'm going to have to find some jewelry friends that do repairs. If you do, please let me know.
um, in the chat because sometimes I do have pieces that I love and it's like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix this so I put it in a crap lot for someone else. But sometimes I'd fall in love with something and I wish I could fix it myself or have someone do it. That's a stretchy. This looks like it's sterling. And it is. So that's sterling little necklace. Um, I wonder how, how high sterling's going to get. So that's going to be super interesting. This is a leather, leather corded necklace. I might save this for a pendant. Um, yeah, I wonder how high silver is going to get now. Um, I'm, I'm going to hold on to my silver until I kind of get a sense of where the market's going. Okay, this is very broken. That's peeling off. That's going in a craft lot. Craft lot. And many, many of these shell necklaces, right guys? Craft lot. Gosh, when do people wear those? What era is that from? Craft lot? I don't know what era that's from. This is a velvet necklace thing. Craft lot. Um, hand stamped in America. This says little. Why? I do not know. Little. And it's got this little pearl hanging from it. Um, I'm going to have to look this up. It says Anne Payton. Brand new. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why something would say little, but that's okay. I wonder why now. Um, this feels like some type of Lava Rock, maybe? I don't think this is Onyx. I believe that's Lava Rock. So that's a nice strand. And I'm going to the bottom. You guys know it's where all the good stuff usually is, but I don't see a lot of little pieces in this one. Um, so this is very tarnished and broken. Earring. Craft lot. Oh, this is a very nice keychain with a genuine stone on the end of it. That's pretty. And we've got this little earring with some beads on it. I like those colors. It's like orange and purple. You don't see that very often, do you? A lot of tangles in this one. Ah. We're probably gonna have to come back to this. This is broken. Craft lot. This is very worn earring craft lot. I've got a bunch of beads and faux pearls at the bottom here. I'm gonna put that in the craft lot too. Um, that's a little crystal earring. I think that just needs to be bent forward. Yep, okay. That could be cute. That has to be cleaned. Um, this is very worn craft lot. And I like these um, these earrings with the seed beads. That's pretty. Do you guys think that that's too worn, the stones? I think it's just that it's yellow and pink. And I'm going to save that and see if we find the other. So these are just all beads and little broken pieces of shell. You're going to hear me plop it into the craft lot. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Remember that ad? Oh, what a relief it is. Gold tone bracelet. By the way, I have found bracelets that are that look just like this and that are gold. And where's my magnet? I'm like a mess right now on here. This is not one of those. And so that will go in the craft lot. And here's another craft lot. And another. Always check with the magnet, guys. Sometimes they're real. Okay, 
We've got the other earring. No, oh, oh well, this is broken. Too bad. I'm gonna save it. Let's see if we can find the, the rest of it. That might be something I can fix personally. Might be. Um, silver tone, broken necklace, craft lot. Very worn necklace, craft lot. <laughs> Ah, this is the other earring, the other broken one, worn one. I'm putting that in the craft lot. Also, and this is a stretch. Very pretty stone in the center. Beautiful. I don't know what that is. If you do, let me know. But that's pretty. I'll save that one. There's a little embroidered fabric butterfly. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. There's nothing attached to it. And that's a little crystal stretchy. Put that right on my wrist. Okay, here's a ring. Um, I think this is only the second one out of this bag. And it is magnetic. Put that in the crafter. It's just plain silver tone. And a lot of craft stuff here, guys. So... That's all right. It is what it is. It's a little earring. I really do like this orange and purple look. Here we have a vintage necklace, faux pearl. And these are black, um, I don't know what this, just beads, plain beads. that in the craft lot too. Okay, this bracelet says Leah Sophia and it is a leather and gold tone bracelet. I'm going to see if I can clean that up. It's a little worn, but that might be dirt. I don't know. So I'm going to try and clean that up, guys. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to finish this with you next time. And... Um, and come back tomorrow, I think, because there's a bunch of stuff still left and a lot of it's tangled. Here's another beadology. Let's see what this stone is. And this one is Amazonite. I like that. Pretty green. All right, let's do the rest of this next time. Um, these are crystals and plastic beads. Some of them do look like lapis, but they're not. Nope. Nice colors, though. Put that in the bead lot. Bead craft. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Thank you for joining me. I'm so bad at signing off because I still want to open these um, up, And but look how tangled this is. Of course, you know, it's the, the memory, not the memory, the um, uh, these multi-strand necklaces that really kill me and this armband <laughs> because it's getting like caught up in the swirl of the armband all right guys have a great day and i will try and come back with the rest of this um tomorrow so see you then take care bye